Good day everyone. So in this video lesson, we will discuss about computing probabilities using the standard normal table. So ang gagawin lang natin dito class, host, simulan ko, ang gagawin lang natin is to get the area and then multiply sa 100. Uh, that is the probability ng no, a certain problem. So kailangan uh, medyo ano rin kayo, maging familiar kayo sa mga notation na ginagamit natin sa probability notation. So, halimbawa, nakakita kayo ng ganyan, Z is greater than A but less than B. So, ibig sabihin niyan, the probability that the Z-score is between A and B. So, kapag nakita natin na ang given ay between in two values of X or two given data, so, therefore, uh, kapag uh, sinulat nyo into probability notation, so, ganito nyo siya ilagay o isulat. Next, kapag nakita niyo naman Z is greater than A, so ibig sabihin niya the probability that the Z score is greater than A. Another, kapag itong symbol naman, ibig sabihin the probability that the Z score is less than A. So for example, to denote the area between Z is equal to 1 and Z is equal to 2, we use the notation. Okay, so pag ganyan, Ilagay natin as probability notation that is Z is greater than 1 but less than 2 is equal to 0 0.1359. Ito ay area nila, no? area no, uh, between 1 and 2. So, kailangan laging tandaan class na dito sa left side, kapag between, dapat yung mababa. Okay? So, kung may negative, so dapat yung negative muna dito, yung negative yung nandito. Basta kung sino yung mababa sa dalawang given. So, lagi siya dito nakalagay sa left side. Okay? So, pag binasa natin to the probability that Z is equal to 1 and Z is equal to 2 is 0 0.1539. Okay, meron tayong uh, apat na cases na i-discuss no? how to find the probability of each. So, first, case 1, so makikita nyo, greater than, ito yung mga word na uh, makikita nyo, greater than, at least, more than, to the right, above. Although ito ay nasimula na natin i-discuss dun sa uh, video lesson natin about normal distribution. So, tingnan na lang, uh, balikan ulit natin ito. So, meron tayong apat na cases. So, first one, ito yung makikita nyo word, greater than, at least, more than, to the right, and above. So, pag greater than positive, ano bang gagawin? Pag greater than tapos negative ang given, ano ang gagawin? So, for example, find the probability of the area above, Z is equal to negative 1. Okay. So, mas maganda class na uh, i-drawing nyo o i-shade nyo, gawa kayo ng normal curve dyan, tapos i-shade nyo kasi makikita nyo, makikita nyo agad yung laki ng uh, area nya. Okay? So, dito pa lang malalaman nyo na ah, lagpas ng 0.5 yung area nito. Kasi, yung isang kalahati ng normal curve na sakop niya. Eh, di ba? Yung kalahati ng normal curve, 0.5. Tapos dito, 0.5. Di ba? So, kung ito ay nasakop niya yung isang kalahati, ibig sabihin, lagpas ng 0.5 yung area natin. So, ang next nyo gagawin is kunin yung area ni negative 1 sa doon sa table, no? sa Z table natin. So, hanapin nyo yung area ng negative 1 sa Z table natin and that is corresponds to 0 0.3413. So, since above, above class, tapos negative yung given na Z value natin, above, tapos negative, ang gagawin nyo dyan is ia-add. Okay, add natin yung area plus 0 0.5. So, constant yung 0 0.5 kasi nga sabi ko kanina, yung kalahati ng graph natin is 0 0.5. Is since uh, nakashaded yung kalahati, ibig sabihin that is 0 0.5. At ding ito, mula 0 to negative 1, itong area na to, that is 0 0.3413. So, again, kapag ang given above tapos negative, kahit ano pa dito, greater than tapos negative, at least tapos negative yung given, mag add lang kayo ng 0.5. So, therefore, the, probab uh, the answer is 0.8413 and thus, the probability is 
84.13%. So, imumultiply nyo lang to sa 100. Okay? Multiply nyo lang sa 100, yan na yung probability natin. Okay? Paano naman kapag ganito? Find the probability greater than 1. Okay, kanina negative. Dito positive naman. Greater than 1. Okay, so ito yung area greater than 1. Pag tinignan nyo, maliit lang siya. Okay? So, since pa ganito, hindi niya nasa, wala na, hindi nasakop yung isang buong kalahati ng normal curve natin. So, therefore, uh, mas mababa sa 0.5 yung area nito. So, unang gagawin, kunin mo ulit yung area ni 1 sa Z table natin. Same lang yan sila ni negative 1. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung area niya corresponds to 0 0.3413 din. So, kapag ganito, sa case number 1, tapos ang given ay positive, ano ang gagawin? Yes, iso-subtract natin yung area natin from 0 0.5. So, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3413, the answer is 0 0.1587. So, therefore, the probability is 15.87%. Okay, ulitin ko lang. Kapag uh, sa case 1, kapag negative ang given, plus 0.5. Dito, kapag positive ang given sa case number 1, mag-minus tayo. Okay? Case number 2. So, case number 2, meron tayong less than at most, no more than to the left, not greater than and below. So, paano gagawin? Kapag given to the left of negative sign ang Z natin, negative yung Z value natin, so, that is... Okay, ko, ito ay to the left of negative 1.5. Ito lang yung part. Ito yung shaded area natin. So, kapag ganyan, makikita nyo na maliit lang siya at di nasakop yung kalahate, alam mo sa sarili mo na ima-minus natin kay 0.5. So, the area corresponds to negative 1.5 is 0 0.4332. So, minus lang natin yan kay 0.5. So, 0.5 minus 0 0.4332, the answer is... 0 0.0668 Therefore, the probability is 6.68% So, again, paano nakuha yung probability? Minul ah, paano natin nakuha yung probability? That is, multiply lang natin sa 100 That is 6.68% Another, so find the probability below Z is equal to 1.5 So, that is Ito naman positive yung given. So, kung kanina, minus natin kay 0.5, dito naman, so, makikita natin na yung isang kalahati ng normal curve na sakop, shaded. So, ibig sabihin, yung area nito ay mas mataas kay 0.5. So, same lang naman yung ano, this is positive 0.5. Okay. So, the area corresponds to 1.5 is 0 0.4332. Same lang doon sa negative 1.5. So, kapag ganito class, nag uh, below tapos positive, ang gagawin lang natin, kabalik na rin itong sa kabila, sa example number 3, magpla plus 0.5 tayo. So, 0 0.4332 plus 0.5. So, the answer is 0 0.9332. Therefore, the probability is 93.5. 32%. Case number 3. So, ito ay between na ng dalawa. So, dalawang same ang sign. Okay? Sa case number 3, given between nung dalawang same sign. So, find the uh, probability between negative 2 and negative 1.5. Okay. Between negative 2 and negative 1.5. So, ito lang. Masyado lang siyang maliit, no? So, ang unang gagawin natin, kunin natin yung area ni negative 2 at ni negative 1.5. So, yung area corresponds to negative 2 is 0 0.4772. Tapos, yung area corresponds to negative 1.5, that is 0 0.4332. So, kapag ganito class, na given yung dalawa, tapos same sign between yung dalawang say value, then same sign, ang gagawin natin ay magsusubtract tayo. So, la, tandaan na dapat mauna yung mas mata, malaking value para hindi tayo mag-negative. Walang negative sa sagot natin. So, again, dapat mauna dito yung mataas na value na area. 
kapag nagsosubtract tayo. Therefore, again ha, kapag between ng dalawang z value tapos same sign, magsosubtract. So, the answer is 0.440. Therefore, the probability is 4.40%. Okay? Again, the probability is 4.40%. Minultiply lang natin to sa 100. Next. Find the probability between 0.98 and 2.58. So, same positive naman to. So, ganun lang din yung proseso class. Kunin yung area ni 0.98, that is 0.3365. Area ni 2.58, that is 0.4951. So, again, same sila ng sign, kaya isa-subtract din natin. Mauna yung 0.4951 minus 0.3365. And the answer is 0.1586. Therefore, the probability is 15.86%. Sa case number 4 naman, in between two, val uh, two Z values pero different sign. Isang positive, isang negative. So, for example, bit, uh, find the probability between negative 1.32 and 2.37. So, that is, uh, kunin natin muna yung area ni negative 1.32. That is 0 0.4066. Tapos, area ni 2.37, that is 0 0.4911. So, ganito kalaki yung area nating class, ibig sabihin, mas mataas yan sa 0.5. So, kapag ganito class, ang gagawin natin kapag different sign, isang positive, isang negative, ang gagawin natin sa area nila ay ia-add. So, mag ia add natin. So, 0 0.4066 plus 0 0.4911. So, the answer is 0.897. Therefore, the probability is 89.77%. Okay? So, dapat tandaan nyo lang yan, ha? Tatandaan nyo. Na kapag different and sign, i-add natin yung area. Another example, between 0.92 and negative 1.75. So, the answer is, okay, the area of 0.92 is 0 0.3212. The area of negative 1.75 is 0 0.4599. So, again, pag different and sign, add. 0 0.3212 plus 0 0.4599, the answer is 0 0.7811. So, therefore, the uh, probability is 78.11%. Another example, the weights of adults in Barangay X approaches a normal distribution with a mean of 52.9 kg and standard deviation of 7.2 kg. If an adult is chosen a random variable x, what is the probability that his weight is above 48.5 kg? So, nandiyan yung word na above. So, ibig sabihin, doon tayo sky, case number 1. Above 48.5. So, first, kunin muna natin yung z-value natin. Using the z-score formula. So, Given natin, yung mean natin is uh, 52.9, standard deviation 7.2, at yung x natin is 48.5. Using the formula, 48.5 minus 52.9 over 7.2, the answer is negative 0 0.61. Since above, so sa case number 1 tayo, no? above, tapos negative siya, ano ang gagawin? Yes, if na plus natin, kunin muna natin yung area ni negative 0.61. The area of negative 0.61 is 0 0.2291. So, ibig sabihin na sakop yung kalahati kaya. At saka case number 1 to. Kapag sa case number 1, above tapos negative, mag plus 0.5 tayo. So, therefore, 0 0.2291 plus 0.5, the answer is 0.7291. So, the probability... Uh, that the randomly selected adults weights above 48.5 kg is 72.91%. Another example, a brisk walk at 4 miles per hour burns an average of 300 calories per hour. If the standard deviation of the distribution is 8 calories, find the probability that a person who walks 1 hour at the rate of 4 miles per hour will burn the following calories. Assume the variable to be normally distributed. 
So, first, answerin muna natin yung more than 280 calories. So, kunin natin yung uh, probability ng more than 280 calories. So, using the z-score, that is 280 minus 300. 300 yung mean. And then, 8 is the standard deviation. So, ito yun. So, that is negative 2.5. So, tingnan natin. Yung area ni negative 2.5 is 0.4938. Since more than ito, more than case number 1. Case number 1 tapos negative, anong gagawin? Yes, kagaya ng example number 9 kanina, i-add natin yung area. So, 0.4938 plus 0.5, the answer is 0.9938. Therefore, the probability more than... 280 calories is 99.38%. How about less than 294 calories? So, ito ay case number 2. No? Sa case number 2 naman tayo. Una, kunin mo na yung Z value. So, that is 2, 900, 900, 294 minus 300 divide 8. So, the answer is negative 0.75. So, Uh, kapag sa case number 2, tapos negative yung uh, given, magsasubtract tayo. Tama? So, yung area ni negative 0.75 is 0.2734. So, again, sa case number 2, since less than, tapos negative siya, isasubtract natin from 0.5. So, 0.5 minus 0.2734, the answer is 0.2266. Therefore, uh, thus, the probability is 22.66%. Okay, how about between 278 and 318? Itong example nito, okay, it's either case number 3 or 4 to. Pag nakuha natin yung z-value, so kunin muna natin yung z-value nila. First, 278. 278 minus 300 divide 8. So, the answer is negative 2.75. Yung isa naman, 318 minus 300 divide 8. The answer is 2.25. So, case number 4 ito. So, sa case number 4 class, anong ginagawa? Kasi different ang sign, i-add natin yung area nila. Correct. So, kunin natin yung area ni negative 2.75, that is 0 0.4970. Area ni 2.25, that is 4, uh, 0.4878. So, sabi ko nga kanina, case number 4 ito, different ang sign. So, therefore, add natin yung dalawang area nila. And that is 0.4970 plus 0.4878. The answer is 0.9848. Therefore, The probability is 99.48%. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.